Dolly Mann is supposed to be here to talk about gadgets at this time every week, but uh, as you can see, he's not here as, as yet. But I am hearing, oh, he has sent a report. Here's Ollie Mann, take a look. Well, this is kind of embarrassing, Matt, but the truth is I'm completely lost. Now, that's partly because I managed to bring my map for Birmingham and the West Midlands with me today instead of the one that would have actually been useful. But never mind, earlier this week, I downloaded a new sat-nav app to my iPhone. It's called Copilot Live Premium, and it only costs £14.99. So will it do as well as a £100 standalone sat-nav and get me to work? Let's find out. You made it, Ollie. Well done. I was getting worried there for a second. Calm down, it's okay. Right, you've had that gadget for what, a few days now? I have. Is it any good? It is pretty good, yeah. I, I reckon it's pretty competitive actually with the, the, the sort of market leader, which is TomTom. Tom. Those cost £50 for your iPhone, and as I said, I have to say this price is only for the first week. Uh, but this is only £14.99 for the UK, £26.99 for the whole of Europe. I mean, look, when you're using a sat-nav on your phone, it does drain the battery and stuff like that. You know, there is an issue around signal sometimes, although this does store all of the maps on your phone, uh, so you don't always have to be searching for the data. But yeah, I think it's pretty good. And, and my theme for today, basically, is high-tech gadgets that sound like they cost a lot and don't. So stuff on the cheap, cool stuff, stuff on, on the, the cheap. cheap. exactly. So <laughs> there's a sat-nav for you, uh, like I say, developed by ALK called Copilot Live Premium that's less than half the price you'd think it should be. I've also got a piece of security software right. that I think is an absolute steal, if you can say that about security <laughs> software. Hey. Um, here I am in the office earlier, typing away. Uh, now, I leave my desk, as you can see, I'm thrilled to be there. And in the corner, there's this little camera. It's called a Jabber Cam. Uh, and it's filming what happens whilst I'm away from my desk. So later when I log back onto my desktop, I get a little email alerting me of anything that's happened whilst I've been away. And let's see what was. Hey, who's this cool customer? Shady looking character. <laughs> uh, you've nicked my keys. I'm outraged. <laughs> Uh, and I shall be forwarding this not only to the police, <laughs> but also to the internet as a whole. Because um, as you saw there, the little icon, so you can share the footage on Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. It's so motion sensitive is the key, right? So if, if, if somebody breaks into your garage or something, then it's going to trigger it and start working. Is that how it is? Exactly. And you can hook it up so it sends you a text message or a tweet or an email when that stuff happens. But the brilliant thing about this is, because there is lots of CCTV software out there, this only costs £59.95. Uh, you do have to pay £5.95 a month as well to subscribe to the internet service, and there are other add-ons, you know. But basically, you get the, the stuff you need to have a, a CCTV system in your home or office or watching over your kids or elderly relatives or whatever it is for £59.95. OK, that does sound like a steal, to use your <laughs> pun uh, again. Right, finally, a little bit of, a, of an and finally, I guess. What have we got? Oh, I love this clip. It's my favourite video of the week. This is, uh, well, this is a qualifying match for the Robo Cup in Istanbul. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, the pace. It's, it's really incredible, isn't it? Uh, it does look a bit like watching sort of arthritic geriatrics playing football, but the incredible thing is these kinds of robots have only been playing football since 1997, and they've managed to develop them to be autonomously intelligent, in other words, to independently strategize how to score a goal, oh, as we're seeing there. get in. There we go. Uh, they don't celebrate yet, unfortunately. I want full-on, you know, rolling around on the floor and pulling their wires out. And what you're saying, in a certain period of time, they're going to be sort of as good as humans, is that the idea? Well, like I say, this project started in 1997 uh, in response to Gary Kasparov being beaten by the IBM supercomputer. And they chose football because all of the skills that you need to play football can be applied to all kinds of things from domestic chores through to, well, through to warfare and all sorts of things. Um, so they chose football as the development and the goal is that by 2050, the participants of the Robo Cup will be as good at independently, strategically playing football as all the teams in the FIFA World Cup. OK, Ollie, so by 2020, they'll be as good as England. We'll leave it there. <laughs> We're 2015. Out. We're out of time. Thanks, Ollie. Cheers.